Hi guys, hope you're well and thanks for joining me in my kitchen. So today, we will be making the most highly requested video in a long, long time. Some people call them moons, others call them half moons, whatever. All I know is it's a crispy fried snack filled with creamy saucy chicken and you guys love them. I upload new recipes every week just like this, so if you like food, make sure you hit subscribe and click notify to stay up to date. If you enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up. And with that being said, let's get started. The ingredients that you will need are three chicken fillets cut into small pieces, about two tablespoons of cooking oil, salt to taste, a few green chilies and a few cloves of garlic, half a red pepper chopped, one onion chopped, about six tablespoons of sweet corn, one teaspoon of cumin powder and green coriander for garnishing. And also you will need white sauce and I've made this in a, another video. So the recipe for this is on the link on your screen or in the description below. So go ahead and check that out. And finally for the dough, you will need two cups of plain flour, two tablespoons of butter, salt to taste and one cup of boiling water. And for dipping, you will need some eggs and breadcrumbs for coating. Okay, so to the preheated oil, I'm going to add in the onions. And we're gonna cook these onions till they are nice and soft. And with, what we're gonna do is cook this on medium heat um, until the water's all gone. And while the chicken is happening, we're going to make a paste out of the garlic and the chilies. The water's gone and the chicken is done. So now we are going to add in the cumin powder, sweet corn, the garlic and chilli paste. Now also, it's up to you how much chilli chilies you want to add. Um, these were not so chilli, so I, I blended in about, I think it was about five, six, uh, but it's entirely up to you. And also salt as well, that's to your taste. So make sure you taste the filling as well if you need to add more than do so. And also the red peppers. So that's all the ingredients gone in. And I'm just gonna give that a stir. And just make sure we cook the garlic and the chilies as well. So let that cook for about a minute or two. And now to finish off the filling, we are going to add in the white sauce that we've made. And it's completely up to you how much you want to add. We're going to move on to the next step and that is to make our dough. What we're going to do is, we I've just made a little well in the middle. I am going to add in the butter, salt, okay, and then get our hot water. I'm just going to add this a bit at a time. nice soft dough like this and if you find that it's gone a bit too soft then you can add a little bit of flour if, it start, if you think it starts to stick yep that feels okay to me as long as you're able to roll it because we will be rolling this now I'm gonna make this one quantity at a time because obviously we've got a fair bit of filling um, so I'm just going to do this, make this each time I need it. So I'm just going to show you the, this quantity and then I will be making some more. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to roll this and fill it. Okay, so we're going to flour our surface and I'm just going to roll this out. 
And what you'll also need is some flour and water paste as well to seal the edges. Um, and the link for that will be somewhere up on your screen and also in the description below. Um, and it's like a flour paste made of flour and water. And also you'll need a cutter as well. Um, because my filling is a little bit more saucier, I'm going to make them a little bit bigger. Um, so I've got a, a big cutter. Okay, so we've rolled it out and now we're going to cut them out. Um, so it's up to you what size you like to cut them. I would recommend, I would advise um, a bigger shape. Um, so let's just cut these out. Take one out and take some of our filling. We don't want to overfill it, otherwise it'll start seeping from the sides. And then just take some of this flour paste, like this, and then we're just going to seal it. Like that, and there you go. And we're going to do that for the rest of them. Okay, so now the final step is to dip them in egg and breadcrumb them and then we're going to fry them. Try it out, let me know what you think in the comments below or you can even tag me in a picture. If you've made this before, I would love to hear what you did different. If you enjoy this, please do give me a thumbs up and to see more delicious recipes, do subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.